location for a couple days um, which is Pismo Beach or Oceano but we're getting ready to hit the road and we are going up to what is it San Luis so yep time to get on the road I've got um, I unhooked the car last night to go get some supplies that's where we came from is straight ahead but I'm gonna take this shortcut here Come on, people. I think it's my turn. Okay. Thank you. A lot of farmland around here. So I'm going to get back on 101, which is about a mile and a half up the road. Ooh, pretty flowers. Right now we're actually in Arroyo Grande, California, and the entrance for 101 should be coming up here in less than a mile. This is where I had to come last night to um, a Walmart. There's a shopping complex right up here. And I had to grab some supplies. Not the greatest intersection. my entrance right there to the freeway 101 North all right yay a steep hill always love those yay back on 101 we're not going that far the next point is our next destination is only um, 16 minutes away Salinas is 1.35 and San Francisco is 2.42. My destination is 10 miles away. Avila Beach and the port of San Luis is the next exit. Oh, it's beautiful out there. It's gorgeous. There's Avila Beach Drive, exit 195. Here's my exit right here, exit 198. Beautiful hills and mountains. Hey okay, fellow RVer. Supposed to be some road construction up ahead. Yep, they did have some road construction. That's a cool car. Ooh, a couple cool cars. Well, we're here, about a quarter of a mile up the road is my turn and hopefully the street where I can pull off on. Alright, here's my turn. Tank farm. Hmm. I had to make a quick U-turn, I missed my road. That was not the easiest U-turn. <laughs> this is the road. Farmer's Market. Thank you. There's a camper right there, actually. This is where I'm going to park. I just have to turn around so I can be on the other side of the road. Hmm. Where to turn around at? I'll go this way. I can turn around here. We'll see. Just a little. No, you're not supposed to back up with the with the trailer, but oh well. Just gonna park right here for now. There's that other RV. 
this is what I mean about sometimes when you find boondocking places is that I would prefer to be on that side of the road but there's not enough room so I'll just have to wait till some cars clear out and because um, the sun is going on that side and my panel my panels are on the other side oh well it just works out that way sometimes but my batteries are basically full anyways so no biggie We're headed to Morrow Bay. Perfect, all right turns. I like right turns. 101 North. It actually gets pretty hot here. It was 94 degrees. And um, everywhere else I've been, I've been used to about 80 degrees. Oh, that's super cool, old barn. It's a beautiful area, but it does get a bit hot in, in the SLO. So I'm moving on. It's a pretty area. Although the place I stayed at last night, it, it was industrial, but um, they didn't seem too friendly. It wasn't the cops that bothered me. I think it was one of the, um, the uh, workers there because there was a note on my door saying that um, there's no parking there overnight or camping and that they would um, call the police so whatever I still got to stay the night and didn't get harassed just a little note on the door so I'm fine with that another RV hey fellow RV dweller Yeah, it's a, the temperature's already starting to get hot today, and I really don't want to stick around for hot weather. I like more moderate temperatures. And there's the freeway entrance. So here we go. There's uh, another spot right there by the drive-in movie theater. I had um, saw a location, which we just saw an RV anyways. I had saw a location there on GPS maps. 